What's going on guys? Today you're going to learn the best way to record your desktop for free on Windows 10. So let's get started. Okay, so the program I'm going to be showing you today is called Streamlabs and it's basically like OBS but a, a very improved version of it. So you can not only just record your desktop on Streamlabs but you can also stream directly through the application as well. And it's also a lot faster uh, so if you're trying to record games it's going to run a lot better on your system. As you can see I've got a chart here. Uh, basically explaining the differences between Streamlabs, which is this one here, OBS and XSplit. So to download the program, you want to go ahead and click on the description. It's going to take you to a downloads page that looks like this. And you just want to click on the downloads button and it's going to install the setup file directly to your system. Uh, so just remember where you download it to. And you want to go ahead and install it. Now once you fully install Streamlabs, it's going to look very similar to OBS, but a more refined version of it. You can also automatically import settings directly from OBS to Streamlabs, so you don't have to set anything up afterwards. But if that's not the case, what you want to do is go ahead and open it like this. Um, and you want to go ahead and create a new scene. Uh, so in this case I've called my desktop, which is what I'm currently using to record with. And then you want to go ahead and import another source in this next box here. So you want to click on the same icon again. And here it's going to come up with a load of sources you can capture. So for example, I'm recording my whole desktop right now, so I'm using Display Capture to do that with. Or if you do want to record a game specifically, you want to select Game Capture. Now there are many other things you can record. For, so for example, if you're trying to record a console and your computer is hooked up to it, you can select Video Capture Device and select the capture device you want to record. Uh, for example, like an Elgato or a PVR if people still use them now. Also you use all of these sources um, for a live stream as well, which I'll save for another video. Okay, so now you've got your recording sources set up. You then want to go ahead and configure your video settings to make it look crisp and clean. Now feel free to copy mine if you do want to do that. But what you want to do is go to this uh, cog at the top right corner. And then you want to go to the output. And then you want to scroll down to the recording tab, just like so. Now here, what you can do is basically change where you want the files to record to. And then here you can select what type of recording audio format you want to use, so MP4, and the number of tracks you want to use. Now I like to use two audio tracks, one of them is going to be from a desktop audio and the other is going to be from a voice to make it easier to edit in the future. You then want to scroll down even further, and this way you want to control the bitrate, which basically means the quality of your video recording. So I'm currently using a CBR, which is constant bitrate, and I'm using the value of 35,000. Now you can change this up and down depending on how well it works for your system and how much quality you want to use. But once you've done this, you then want to navigate to the audio tab. And this is where you want to select what audio devices you want to use. So for example, on the desktop audio, I'm just going to use default. And on my mic, I'm going to select the microphone I'm using now. Or if you want to select default, that's going to use what's defaulted on your computer. So any of these will work really. And then you want to navigate to the video tab and here you want to make sure you've recorded in the right resolution and the correct fps that you want to record at but once you've done this you want to click done and you're basically ready to start recording so in order to do that you want to click this big record button down here like i'm doing right now and it will be highlighted red to say you're recording and then you want to click again to stop recording and then it will just blank out like it was before now i will be doing a video in the future as well um, showing you how to live stream within the application now that's what's really good about this uh, is because everything's all in one so if this video is helpful please leave a like and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well if you've got any questions or comments just leave them below and i'll reply to you as soon as possible so thank you very much for watching and have a good day